I hope, have I made that, I hope I've made that clear. It's a little bit, bit difficult to make these points, but... Uh, to compare the, 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 uh, in the same biophysics, right? Ideally, in, yes. You, if you were to approach, let us imagine we start with some completely new area, nobody has done any science, and you find some very good rocks, the first thing you do is collect, uh, and you discriminate the different biofacies. You find some shallow ones, you find some deep water ones, and you find some deep ones. Okay. Now, in the deep ones, you maybe find some widespread species. That helps you to correlate your strata with the rest of the world. But it doesn't help you to do the biogeography. Okay. So then move to the shallow ones, uh, and you say, what are the shallow water form faunas like? Which part of the world? And that helps you to do your biogeography. Oh, you say, this new fauna is very like that in Laurentia. It is probable that this area was near to Laurentia. Okay? Uh, and that is the sort of logic behind it. Uh, and then you start doing it through time. How is this fauna changing through time? Ah, it is originally like Laurentia, but at the top it is like uh, North Africa. So this area has probably moved from near Laurentia to near Gondwana. Okay? Yeah. Um, thank you for the talk. As an uh, academic worker, I have to say I prefer <laughs> with you uh, one of the <laughs> points. <laughs> and this uh, academic is not good for uh, biogeography. Um, the point is that if you select right text and the you will find that it's also very useful in biogeography. You give an example of a uh, kind of story. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's not it my example, it's from um, 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 from some worker. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. a colleague of mine who gave me a slide. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, he's right. Oh, no, she's right. Yeah. Yeah. He is right. Uh, and and some, also some other uh, such as Spotted Ceridian, they are cosmopolitan. You yeah. find them mm. everywhere from the uh, paleo uh, equator to the very high mm. Mm. That That's uh, really useless for uh, geography. Also, uh, when we look at the story of um, Mesozoic and modern dinosaurs, also, we find the same same story. Some texts are they are used this yes. at all. They are cos um, cosmopolitan. You find it. You find them everywhere. But if you try to select some texts, they they do work. <coughs> by geography. Yeah, they are, I think that what you would say is. I mean, I tried to show that one was very good for paleo latitude and recognized Baltica and North America. Uh, it's the same with Kaifenozoans also. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are, that are universal, which makes them very good for correlation. Oh uh, yeah, but, uh, but not good for biogeography. But not good for biogeography. Mm -hmm. But a few are characteristic of high level, high latitude yeah. Gondwana mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. uh, all I'm saying is that, that if you take the majority of the, of the data, okay. mm -hmm. it's probably easier to use a trilobite brachiopod fauna for biogeography. Okay than to use the microflora for the first instance. Oh, yeah. And very often then people have fitted the microflora to the other biogeography mm -hmm. and said, ah, well we have these three, three significant <coughs> taxa and seven widespread taxa. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, uh, when we work on uh, biogeography, we should combine our dates with the back. Yeah. Honor, uh, metonic, and also some other uh, also good. Uh, and uh, when I, when mm -hmm. I um, listen to your talk, you remind me of in 19, mid 1980s, when I was in Sheffield, I, I was preparing my, uh, my paper and I was very depressed for some, I'm puzzled uh, by some biographical problems. Then one day, um, Professor Chastani 
yeah, the length of time, yeah. the separation of the two. Yeah, yes. If we are in the pale of uh, the ocean, we are the island. Island in the pale of the ocean. Of course. So you're American now on the Kenya. So, I mean, geographically, they are separated. And separated. Yeah, for, uh, for trilobites, all I can say for trilobites, mm -hmm. it may be that the pace of change is faster. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, for some families of trilobites, trinucleates, good example, they very, very quickly become endemic. Uh, they're all, they're all on the Avalonia microcontinent. Within a few million years, there are genera found only there. Uh, same is true for the Precordillera. Same is true for China. They are very, very quickly become have their own signature, probably because they evolved really quite fast. On the other hand, uh, in graptolites, uh, we use almost always use species, quite often use species level, yeah. because graptolites are so widespread, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant fossils for international correlation, mm -hmm. uh, because they have both good characters and widespread. But there are still, most people think that all graptolites are like this, but it's not true, is it? Uh, I mean, there are many in some areas, in China, for example, the family Sinograptidae, not surprisingly, is, has its own endemic uh, speciation, some of which gets outside China, but a lot of it happens only within China. Mm -hmm. So Graptolites themselves, I think, confined to one particular shelf. Mm -hmm. Also, even they went for endemic speciation, and very fast indeed, faster even probably than trilobites. <coughs> when were to put the smart stomachs inside the mainland, uh, just as an example, you just read by Sam Turvey, uh, is, is a, a species level better to be used than the generic level to do the yes. biogeography analysis? Yes, yeah, it's a different story, the, the sub regions. Uh, and it's actually very laborious. I mean, it took Sam a long time to get yeah, the yeah, data. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> To produce that rather fairly simple yeah, yeah. Rather uh, to determine result, the yes, um, and I think I think that's kind of it is part of the story, but it's not the one I wish to address today, really, which is about placement of continents yeah. and of microcontinents. Um, but uh, yes, that's best conducted at species level, I think. Shall I get on with the next one? <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> we, we take three and uh, come back in ten minutes. Eleven.